Marnie, thank you so much for joining us today for our Local Authors Showcase. We really appreciate you. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for including me in the Local Author Showcase of Mooresville. I'm really delighted. Thank you. Now, when did you first realize you wanted to be a writer? I think, you know, when I was younger, my mother was a teacher. And before my mom became the legal counsel, vice president, and general manager of the Philadelphia Eagles, she was a teacher. And so I've always enjoyed reading and writing and so forth. And as a young girl, my mom's career took us on many long plane rides, leaving Philadelphia and traveling with the Philadelphia Eagles. And they did not have a lot of technology back then. And so I just started writing as a way to kind of enjoy the time and to capture the moments of the traveling and the experiences. And so then it re I realized it was something that I really enjoyed. And then when I went to college at Penn State, I um, studied broadcast journalism and loved that. And that's kind of writing as well. And it led me to writing Football Friday and Fumble the Dog Game Day. Excellent. Now, how has your family supported you through your writing process? Oh, they've been incredible. My kids actually, well, my mother, Susan, so I've written seven books so far and we're working on all the football cities and then we're going to go to baseball and basketball and all the other sports, NASCAR, of course, NASCAR. And so my family has been incredibly helpful. My mom is my co-author on a few of the books and my other children have also helped me as co-authors. So it's a really a family business. Like I always say, sports is the universal language. But then they also say football is family. So getting the opportunity to share my experience as a young girl with my kids and then kind of go back and, and do it again with my mom has really been such a wonderful experience. I'm so thrilled to get to do it. So that's great. Now, what has been one of the most surprising things you've learned while creating your books? That, it, uh, you know, actually that, it, that, uh, that you have to be patient with some writing because sometimes I just want to just I, I have an idea and then I write it down and then you have to be patient with it and treat it kind of like a puppy. So how I really view all my books is like it's a puppy. You get this puppy, you have this idea and then you have to kind of train it and work with it and teach it and discipline yourself to get back in there and you get frustrated. It's okay to, you know, if you make a mistake to redo it and to rewrite it. And then you also have to say, okay, we're done. Enough is enough. Take it, give it to the publisher and let them do their thing or else you'd still be, you know, writing the first sentence right. of the first book. <laughs> now, what inspired you to write your book? And can you tell us about it? Sure. So, like I said, I grew up in a really unusual set of circumstances. Our family business was football. So my mom, Susan, uh, she ran the team for my grandfather who owned the Philadelphia Eagles. So my grandfather, Leonard Toes, owned the Philadelphia Eagles. And during the time that he owned the team, my mom, Susan, was my grandfather's, like I said, vice president, legal counsel, and general manager. So she was a working mom. And what do moms do? They often take their kids to work because that's what happens. So a lot of the times I would travel with my mom and travel with my grandfather. And the traveling led us to all these different places all around our wonderful country. So a couple years ago, I had thought about writing a book about my experiences as a young girl in Philadelphia growing up. And then it kind of real, it like it dawned on me, can I just do it as the teenager, the young teen that I was focusing on all these great cities. And that's how game day in the USA came to be. Football Freddy is my alias. Fumble really is my dog. Uh -oh. uh, he's a, a little rescue chihuahua. He's usually here on my, <laughs> on my lap, but I wasn't sure what the parameters were. So I didn't want to test my luck with bringing them in and everything else. So, Oh, man, that's yeah. great. So, okay, there are a lot of people who want to get into this business and become authors. What suggestions would you give to them to help them become a better writer? Well, first of all, bravo. If they have any idea, if they have any passion to do it, then just the most important thing is just to keep writing, just to keep writing whatever it is. Write a journal, write your thoughts down, you know, collect your ideas. It doesn't even have to make sense to anybody else. And in fact, it usually won't make sense to other people. But if you know that this is something that you're interested in and you're want, then you want to do, there's so many great ways to be a self-published author these days. And certainly you can write all your stuff, create a blog, get it going, and then, and then go, you know, talk to the librarians, go to your local library. I love local libraries. They're really a great place for everybody to enjoy. We're so lucky to have a beautiful library right here in Mooresville, but librarians and I always say this, like the best compliment I ever get as an author 
is when a librarian compliments my books because they really definitely know their stuff. Kind of like a, a chef, if they were to compliment cooking, they would never they would never compliment mine. But uh, but when a chef would compliment someone's cooking, you know that they have a real a, a dedicated palate to understanding, and it's the same thing with librarians. So. Anybody that wants to write, just keep writing, keep enjoying it. It might not necessarily be a, a career at first, but like with anything, if you put your grit and your determination and your sweat equity into it, it probably will turn into something really, really, really rewarding. Well, thank you so much. That was wonderful. And thanks for coming to the library and supporting our local author showcase. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you do. Really, books are truly such a luxury and uh, coming to a beautiful library and having the opportunity to, to look around and see what everyone else has kind of put out there is really exciting. So thank you. Thank you.